Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the Markov chain analysis problem. Markov analysis is the way of analyzing the current movement of some variable in an effort to forecast its future movement. Now look at the problem. In a town with the three advocates A, B, C, each advocate know that some clients switch back and forth depending on which advocate is available at the time the client needs one. There are no new clients in the current legal market. However, none of the old clients are leaving the area. During the slack period, the three advocates collected the data which identified the number of clients each advocate had seen during the preceding year. Table 1.1 summarizes the result of this study and the manner which clients are gain or loss respectively. Make the state transition matrix that describe the point at hand. Now in short I will summarize the problem. There are three advocates A, B, C. Now the second column representing the original customer base of advocate A, B, C and this last column representing after gain and loss customer base of A, B, C. Third column is representing the total gain to the advocate A, B, C. Fourth column is representing the total loss to advocate A, B, C. The table 1.2 represent the pattern of gain and loss means they have given us a justification of this third column and fourth column means how the 75 is gain by the different advocate A, B, C. How this 50 loss is bared by the different advocate ABC. Now here we want to draw a one transition matrix with the help of this two table. Now here we are going to follow the three simple steps. First of all we will calculate the retention probability for the advocate ABC. Then we will calculate the gain probability for advocate ABC. And after that we will calculate the loss probability for advocate ABC. Now for this calculation of retention probability, gain probability and the loss probability we will use this table. Now first of all we will calculate the retention probability. Now look at the first table. For the retention probability we want this first column, second column and the, this fourth column. Retention of customer is equal to the original customer base minus loss customer is equal to your retention customer and retention probability is equal to your retention customer divided by your original customer base. Now first of all we will calculate the retentional probability with the help of the table 1.1. In the step 1 we will calculate the retention probability. For that purpose I have created this table. Column 1, 2, 3 we have taken from our table number 1.1. First of all calculate the total number of retained customer by advocate 1 which is equal to the number of original customer base minus loss customer which is equal to 350. After that calculate the retained customer by advocate B which is equal to original customer base 500 minus 150 is equal to 350. After that calculate the total retained customer by advocate C which is equal to 500 minus 25 475. Here again I would like to repeat how we have calculated the total retained customer. Total retained customer is equal to the original customer base of the advocate minus number of the lost customer. Now we will calculate the probability of retention. The probability of retention is equal to the total number of retained customer by original customer base means for advocate A probability of retention is equal to 350 by 400 which is equal to 0 0.875. Similarly the probability of retention for advocate B is equal to 350 divided by 500 means original customer base of that advocate is equal to 0 0.700. Now the retention probability for advocate C is equal to 475 by 500 which is equal to 0 0.950. This is the retention probability for advocate A, B, C. After that we are going to calculate the gain probability and the loss probability. Now for the gain probability we are going to refer to the second table that is table number 1.2 and from that we have created this table. Now according to this table advocate A has original customer base 400 and from A for advocate A gain is 0, from B to advocate A gain is 50, from C to advocate A gain is 25. Similarly for advocate B and C. Here we want to calculate the gain probability. The probability associated with the client gains are calculated by dividing the number of client gain a column value by the number of clients served at the source of the gain. It means that uh, column wise we will calculate the probability, gain probability. Now here look at the first column. First column is representing the gain from advocate A to ABC. 
Now therefore here for calculation of the gain probability simply we will divide this column by the customer base of advocate A. Now here customer base of advocate is 400. Therefore here 0 by 400 which is equal to 0 again from A the customer base is 400. Now from A to B the gain is 50 therefore 50 by 400 is equal to 0 0.125 and from A to C the gain is 0 therefore 0 by 400 is equal to 0. Again I am uh, repeating why I have divided this 400 in the first column because first column representing the gain from advocate A to ABC therefore I have divided and 400 is the original customer base of advocate A. Therefore here I have divided the first column by 400 and this is the gain probability. Again from B gain to ABC. Now again from B means uh, advocate B's customer base is 500. From B gain is 50 to advocate A, gain is 0 to advocate B and gain is 100 to advocate C. Therefore here we will divide these gains by original customer base of advocate B. The original customer base of advocate B is 500 therefore 50 by 500 which is equal to 0 0.10, 0 by 500 which is equal to 0 and 100 by 500 which is equal to 0 0.20. Again the last column, the last column is representing the gain from C to advocate ABC. 25 is the gain from C to advocate A, 0 is the gain from C to advocate B and again 0 is the gain from C to advocate C. The last column is representing the gain from C and the original customer base of advocate C is 500 therefore we will divide this column by 500, 25 by 500 is equal to 0 0.05. 0 by 500 is equal to 0, 0 by 500 is equal to 0. In this way we have calculated the gain probability. After this we will calculate the loss probability. Now, for the calculation of the loss probability again we have referred the table number 1.2 second table and this table is representing the distribution of losses to advocate ABC from advocate ABC. Now the first row is representing loss from A to advocate A, loss from advocate A to advocate B, loss from advocate A to advocate C. For the loss probability we will done our calculation row wise for the simplicity. Now look at the first row, the first row representing the losses from two A, B and C advocate. It means that the first row representing the losses from advocate A. Therefore we will divide these three values by the 400 because 400 is the customer base of advocate A and the first row is representing the losses from A to advocate ABC therefore 0 by 400 is equal to 0 here 50 by 400 is equal to 0 0.125 and here 0 by 400 is equal to 0. The second row is representing losses from advocate B to advocate ABC therefore we will divide the second row by the original customer base of advocate B that is 500. Therefore 50 by 500 is equal to 0 0.10, here 0 by 500 is equal to 0, here 100 by 500 is equal to 0 0.2. Again row 3 representing the losses from advocate C to ABC, therefore we will divide this row 3 by original customer base of advocate C which is 500, 25 by 500 is equal to 0 0.05, after that 0 by 500 is equal to 0 again 0 by 500 is equal to 0. Now this is the loss probability calculation. After this gain probability calculation and loss probability calculation, now we will go for constructing the state transition matrix. Now look at the matrix here we want to put the values. Here this diagonal means from A to A, from B to B and from C to C. Now this three diagonal values means our retention probability. We will put the retention probability into this matrix, this diagonal matrix. See this is our final matrix and the retention probability is, is equal to A to A means 0 0.875, B to B means 0 0.700 and C to C means 0 0.950. Now after this calculation, after putting the retention probability, we want to put, we want to fill up the remaining value. Now the question is how to fill this remaining value. Now for that purpose we are going to use the second step that is again probability. Now here how to put the value, here we are going to write the gain probability. Now look at this cell, this cell is representing the gain probability from advocate A to B. Now look at this matrix, now look at this second step from A to A our value is 0 means our retention probability already we have written this. 
from a to b value is 0 0.125 here from a to b means this cell so this cell's value is 0 0.125 from a to c value is equal to 0 therefore here we will write down 0 from b to a from b to a value is 0 0.10 here we will write down 0 0.10 from b to c from b to c value is 0 0.20 0 0.20 from c to a from c to a value is 0 0.05 0 0.05 and last from c to b from c to b value is 0 here we will write down the 0 in this way we have constructed transition matrix now at the end again i would like to summarize our answer uh, this is our transition matrix how we have created the transition matrix we have followed the three simple steps first of all we have calculated the retention probability then we have calculated the gain probability and then loss probability also the sum of the probability in each must be equal to 1 means this sum should be equal to 1 this sum should be equal to 1 and this sum should be equal to 1 